The Ford Capri, impervious to salt water. Changes colour when cornering. Capable of ridiculous speeds in underground car parks. A car worthy of James Bond. Beautiful women couldn't resist its magnetic attraction. The message of this commercial was, don't speed in France, gendarmes drive Capris too. Classic advertising from 1969. 24 years on, the Capri's life in the fast lane is over. Boy racers have grown up and settled down. The Capri's become an old-timer, a collector's car, with a loyal following who turn their noses up at leopard skin seat covers, Kevin and Sharon sun strips and dangling furry dice. I've always liked his appearance an awful lot, although having said that, when I first passed my driving test, it was perhaps the last car on my mind. Um, the first one I bought was a 1300, 1970 vintage. It was the right price, right sort of engine for insurance purposes, but having bought one, that was it. I was hooked from then on. I like it because it's a classic car. I've liked it ever since it first went on the road in 1969, and for 20 years I waited to get my own. And two years ago, I was lucky enough to get my own. And it's just, to me, the ultimate car. Cars that are kept in good, clean order are generally looked at wherever they go. Often you see the cars heavily customised and people just turn around and go, look at that Wally, you know. There are some cars this man would sacrifice almost anything for. Like the new Ford Capri, the car you always promised yourself. This Capri's an R reg, but it hasn't done as many miles as you might think. Only 39 and a half thousand since new. Honest. The owner has another car for everyday use. This sought-after model is his pride and joy. Every replacement part it's ever had is lovingly recorded. This Mark I Capri is a star, though its owner could hardly bear to part with it. An advertising agency persuaded him to let go for a month. It was flown out to LA for a bit part in one of Ford's latest commercials. So, let your imagination soar. You can choose from five engines. Turn Capri into a top-of-the-line GT that can go from zero to 100 in 11 seconds. Capri enthusiasts hope the car's classic status won't tempt a new breed of boy racer to this old man of motoring. Because looks can be deceiving, many models have a demon of an engine. I think the boy racers are going on to GTIs and things like that and they're not really interested in Capris because they're old and young kids think they're outdated. They're wrong. <laughs> but don't tell them that. <laughs> we don't want them to buy them again. <laughs> a recent issue of What Car said the Capris... Smart shape still turns a few heads, image still strong, very reliable mechanically, but corrosion can be a problem. The new Ford Capri is very generous with its room and comfort. Seats four, even five adults. These days, though, the Capri's sex appeal seems to be lacking. Do you think it is a car that woos the ladies? Mm, it's not been my experience. The Capri may be trying to shake its boy racer image, but there's no denying the power under the bonnet. This one's 20 years old, but it'll do naught to 60 in seven seconds. You can see my dilemma. There was only one decision I could make. I promised each of them the car they always promised themselves. The new Ford Capri. What a decent chap. <laughs>